today we are gonna be doing a mini grocery haul. So you guys know that I do most of my grocery online. I still have not found the courage to go to a supermarket. But today I wanted to show you guys exactly what I buy. Obviously, um, we buy the normal things like soy sauce, patties, vinegar, rice, all of these normal things. But these are things that I feel are unique to every person like mga snack food or the things that I always need to have in my pantry. So first thing is da -da -da -da, cup noodles. Guys, I am not a cup noodles person. You all know that I love to live healthy. And for snacks, usually I have toast or a smoothie. But for some weird reason, it started when I was pregnant. I started craving cup noodles. And so every now and then, when I'm not feeling the food that we're gonna have for dinner, I will take out a cup of cup noodles. This one is new. I haven't tried it before. It's the Soon Veggie Ramyun Noodle Soup. And what I love about it is that every time I say, you wanna have noodles? You wanna have cup noodles? Slater's always game. <laughs> so this one, I'm excited to try. What my favorite is before, when we used to go to Korean restaurants, is when we have cup noodles and then they top it with cheese. Oh, cheese ramyun. That was my favorite before. So hopefully this is something that I can sort of create something similar with. Hall interrupted because vlogging. my hubs is leaving. Where are you going without me? Pang Oscar na naman yung I don't hear the door slamming. Yon. Okay, so next thing is lace. Now, I am not a major snacker also, but at night, Slater loves to watch TV with me every single night and he always needs to munch on something. So usually, yung favorite niya, Place uh, Cheetos. He loves Cheetos, although hindi ko na bile. He loves peanuts. This is actually from Charlton, our friend who supplies us with alcohol. <laughs> they have this new thing. You can hear Slater's car right now. He's leaving. Greaseless nuts. Slater loves it. And I always tell him, be careful of the crummies because <laughs> I know that sometimes when I look over to his side of the bed, and damning crumbs, oh, it drives me crazy. Like, I'm so scared because I have bugs and insects. And then it's because of Slater's eating that one day my fear of a cockroach crawling on my face will happen. I've tried it before. It's pretty scary. So yeah, these are Slater's favorite snack foods at night. Another snack food for Scott naman is this. Okay, Scott loves to eat everything. I swear, like even raw kale he will eat, raw arugula he will eat. So when it comes to like sweet things or salty things or things na malasa, love na love niya. So this one was actually gifted to us by my brother. He loves Scott so much. And so every time Scott goes to my parents' house, they always bribe him with food because they know that that's Scott's first love food, not mama food. So biscuits or whatever. And this is what my brother got him. And Scott really, really loves it. I think my brother got this at Healthy Options. It's called the Happy Tot ABC Multigrain Cookies. I tried it myself and it's actually really good too. A little bit on the sweet side, but it's up. It's 40 calories for three cookies. Okay, another thing that we cannot live without, like lag every week, this needs to be part of my grocery, is milk. We love having oat milk, soy milk, almond milk. Slater does not like almond milk, he only likes oat milk. So this is the favorite thing, the favorite milk ni Slater that we add to our coffee every morning. Um, I used to love my coffee black. I used to love Americano lang. But recently, like when we discovered this, we only ever drink lattes, now our cappuccinos. It's so good. Thing is, this is always sold out. So once my stock sila, I buy like six, ten because it's so hard to get. This is really good. Oatly in the oat drink barista edition. Mm, highly recommend this one. If that's not available, then I will order like from Milk Lab. So they have dairy milk, which Scott likes. They have macadamia milk, soy milk, almond milk, you name it. There are so many kinds. I haven't heard of macadamia milk, only from Milk Lab. And it tastes really good. The thing is, when you buy this, the first time I bought it, I'm like, why is it coming in like milk curds? You have to shake it before you use it. So that, that's just something that you need to note if you're gonna try this one out. Another thing that we like for breakfast, aside from milk on our coffee is tuna. So this is the new San Miguel Del Mar Tuna, it's tuna chunks in water and tuna chunks in vegetable oil. I think Slater posted about this. He had it for a, I think it was sponsored on his Instagram. And then now I can't stop buying it because I really, really like the taste. 
super good. We also always have some whole peeled tomatoes because I am a tomato girl. I feel like if you add tomato juice or tomato sauce or tomatoes to any dish, it will taste really good. So this is always in our pantry. And look who's awake, Scotty Boo! Scotty just woke up from his nap. Come here, my love. I love Scotty's bagong gising look. His hair is always all over the place. Your hair is so funny, baby. <sighs> what do you like? You like the tomatoes? You like, look at this. You like this? You like this, honey? Why do you have lint on your cheek? Your hair is so fluffy. You like this milk. This is what you have in the morning, right? Scotty likes to make our coffee for us in the morning sometimes. Right, baby? So he's very familiar with this packaging. Milk. More. More milk. Scotty is now being weaned from breastfeeding, which is so sad. Like, I wish I could go on forever. Honestly, it doesn't take a lot for me, but it was a recommendation from our pediatrician. I know, it's kind of weird, but yeah, it was a recommendation from our pediatrician. He is taking it really well, although he's <laughs> he's very clingy to mama ever since we started weaning, right? Milk! You like milk? Okay. Go get milk with Yaya first. Okay, so now that I've weaned Scotty, well, even before I weaned Scotty, I always like to drink a glass of red wine. It is my choice of alcohol. It calms me down. It makes me feel nice. When I was pregnant, it is what I missed the most. And so we have different kinds of wine here that I got from different sources. This is bread and butter. This was actually given to us, but I hear it's really good. So I'm saving it for a special occasion because I can't finish this bottle by myself and Slater likes to drink whiskey, not wine. So if I drink wine, it has to be like with loved ones or family, you know, like I need to be able to share the bottle para hindi siya masayang because I can only drink like one, two glasses. Sayang naman yung the rest of the bottle if it goes bad. So I'm saving that for an occasion where I can drink with somebody else. And we also have Pebble Lane Pinot Noir. I love, I think if there's a kind of wine that I really like, it's Pinot Noir because it's very light, it's not too heavy. It just, I like the taste when I swallow it. It's not so dry, it's not sweet. I don't like sweet wine. And I'm also not a wine connoisseur, so I just kind of try different brands. This is Woodbridge by Robert, Robert Mondavi. So whatever's available, I like to try different kinds of wines. I'm no expert, but um, Pinot Noir is definitely a favorite. Okay, you guys also see us making chia seed pudding all the time. It is one of Scotty's favorite, favorite breakfasts in the morning. And when I love making smoothies, I do love making smoothies for the whole family. I will insert some chia seeds. Sometimes I will make toast and then put tahini on top of it. This is tahini, another thing that I like to add to Scott's sandwiches. Super healthy, it's kind of like, this is unsweetened tahini that I got from Healthy Options. And it's kind of like peanut butter, but it's made of sesame seeds. Super healthy, I think it's high in protein, if I'm not mistaken. It has six grams of protein, but it's super healthy now. So I put toast, I put tahini, and then I put a sprinkle of chia seeds, or sometimes I will do like banana, slice it in half lengthwise, and then I will add peanut butter on top and then sprinkle it with chia seeds. All great snack options that are super, super yummy. We also have sinigang here. So many, I have all the variants. Sinigang with Gabi, sinigang original. We have sinigang with miso. Super good. Dami kong sinigang because this family loves sinigang so much. You guys know when I was pregnant, my craving was really kimchi and sinigang. It's just so good. I feel like for some weird reason, it tastes very comfortable and it doesn't matter like what meat you use, what protein. Like you can use fish, you can use shrimp, you can use pork, you can use beef, you can use chicken, whatever. With this sinigang mix, it's super affordable, 12 pesos lang, and I love it, super good. Yes, Kati. So I think later for lunch, actually, let's make some sinigang together. Okay guys, this is super cool. My cousin got it from Amazon and I was gonna buy it for myself, but he gave me one. It is called Green Superfood Amazing Grass. Now they do not like vegetables in their household and a doctor friend of theirs told them to buy this, take one spoonful, mix it in water every day, and that's good, even if you're not a veggie eater, this will give you all the necessary nutrients you need from the greens that you're missing out on. So when I make smoothies, I will mix this in, though it does really taste 
has a specific taste. So I can't mix it all the time because I'm scared Scotty will resent the taste. But um, I've tried making a smoothie with this and Scotty loved it. So if you guys are looking for a way to sneak veggies into your toddler's diets, then try this out. I guess you can buy it on Amazon. I will try to find the link and put it in the description box below so you guys can purchase one for yourselves. Yes, Scotty. Oh, oh, careful, my love. What? What one do you like, huh? What one do you like? You've never tried brownies in your entire life. Or would you like some bark fins? Snacking chocolate? You've never tried chocolate in your entire life. Hmm? Or would you like some quinoa? Adding grains to a baby's diet is super important, I read. So it's not just fruits and veggies. Grains are also so important. Ah, more this one. You like quinoa, right? So millet, barley, quinoa, anything of that sort. like. Make a variety of it, super healthy. Even oats, oats are good. And last but not the least, baby, we have some peanut butter. I used to love peanut butter, top it off with bananas, but so far I haven't been really liking them, huh, honey? You wanna try some? You wanna try some? No? Okay. Nan -nan. Nan -nan? Nan -nan? Who's that? Nan -nan. That's not me, Nang, that's mama. Wow, what a good boy! What a good boy! Oh, drink milk for the camera. Hmm? How about, Scotty? Smile for the camera! Smile for the camera! Eee, smile! Smile for the camera! Oh, you get the camera? Okay! Bye-bye, Sky fam. Bye-bye. Try. Go. Go. Wow. Good job. So guys, today's challenge is magluluto tayo ng sinigang for lunch. Yes, ako magluluto, which means kailangan easy lang yung recipe because you guys know how much I can't cook to save my life. So this is our little dirty kitchen. Everything is stainless steel. This is Ate Ivy, Ayajan. Everyone's here. And the whole kitchen is stainless steel because this is the part of the house that we do most of our heavy cooking. So it's easy to maintain, easy to wipe, even the cabinets are all stainless steel. We have a rice cooker here. This is like a mini dirty kitchen tour. Um, this is where Ate Ivy cooks everything. We have chicken stock. More of our grocery haul that I did not show you. Let me turn this off real quick. And I was gonna cook here, but I think it's a little bit messy right now. So I think I'm gonna have to cook in the clean kitchen. We also have a pantry here. Let me show you. To open it up, this is where we store a lot, a lot of the things that we have stock of. So for example, laundry detergents, I always talk about that. That's where we store it. We also have like tissue paper here water bottles rice like all of the necessities alcohol look how much alcohol we have 
These are like delivery receipts. Um, we have so much tissue here for the kitchen. We also have water bottles here on the floor. And this is our electrical area. I think if you guys watch Slater's vlog, then you will have seen that already. This is Sky's food over here. Um, and that's basically it. This is also where I store my breast milk. So let me just hide these. So as I mentioned earlier, I don't anymore breastfeed Scotty. I think today's, last night was actually the first time that we completely stopped all breastfeeding sessions. So I used to breastfeed him four times a day. Last, yesterday we did zero. Um, and it wasn't so hard. It's got such a big boy now. But we still do give him breast milk in a cup as I mentioned earlier. And this is all the breast milk that I have left that I've accumulated over the past few months. So there's still a lot of him. There's still a lot for him to drink. And okay, last but not the least, this is our little LPG station. And funny story that I never shared with you guys, I think. Inside, we use an electric induction stove. So I cook everything and we use electricity for that. And I remember a lot of people were, were telling me, na, oh gosh, mahal siguro yung kuryente nila sa bahay kasi puro electric electricity. We do our heavy cooking here in the duty kitchen and we use LPG tanks. And a lot of people were also seeing LPG tanks stored inside. That's not very safe. Well, if it's away from electrical sockets, as you can see here, we taped up our electrical sockets just to be safe there. See? So you can't use these plugs. And it's not like enclosed in an area. It's an, an open area. Plus, this space is always so open. There are windows here that are always there. So there's wind, there's breeze, there's an electric fan on top. And there's a door right here. So it's not super scary. Plus, if you guys are looking for a place to get your LPG here in Cebu, then it's actually my brother's business. I don't think I ever told you guys that, but my brother supplies LPG. So all I do is call this number or text this number. I'll put all the details down below. So if you guys want that for your home, it's super convenient and you are guaranteed that it's legitimate because it's me and you can come after me if anything goes wrong. Yes, honey. I asked my mom like, okay, what sets him apart from all the other businesses out there yes scotty love come here come here my mom was like oh service is impeccable Mama. yeah we really care about customer service right honey <laughs> yo right honey okay 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 let's pick Let's pick sinigang. scotty my little helper we're gonna cook sinigang baby okay sinigang please mama put it here so obviously for sinigang soup, we are going to be needing some sinigang mixes. So there's gabi, there's sinigang sampalok mix miso, there is original, we have patis here that I like to add also. There's gulai here, all prepped and ready, and we have our meat dish which is fish. Now I personally feel like it doesn't really matter what meat dish you use. Like for instance, I only eat seafood and fish so we do sinigang sometimes here at home that is made of shrimp sometimes made of fish slater only eats meat so he does pork he does chicken we all try it all the time and it always works it's still mess up so it doesn't matter what meat you use sinigang is always a good option first we will be adding a little bit of oil then i'm gonna be adding my lamas so i'm gonna be adding some garlic garlic goes in And then I'm also gonna be adding some ginger and some tomatoes. Tomatoes. We'll also add some of this spring onion. I'm using this one, Sinigang mix with Gabi. Now this says pork, but I think it doesn't really matter what you use, it will still be masarap. So I will be taking maybe a spoon of this, half a spoon, and just mixing that here in my soup. Super easy, right? I can already smell the goodness, guys. This is what I crave for. Like, Ate Ivy knows. I always say, can I have sinigang today? Always, because it's my comfort food. Whenever I'm not feeling it, 
this is what will make me feel it again. It's so masarap, I swear. I don't know if it's a Pinoy thing, but I'm always craving for soups. I'm always craving for like savory food. I'm always craving for hot dishes. I can't have like, alam mo sa Europe, parang it's always cold cheese, cold cuts bread for breakfast or for lunch sandwich. Or sometimes they get from the deli, it's a cold sandwich. I'm like, no, I want soup. I want sinigang. That's me. Okay, so to this, I like to add some patis just to give it a little umami flavor, a little something something. You can always add whatever it is that you want. It's nice to be creative as long as, you know, you like the food that you're eating. Super easy to make, guys. I mean, if I can make it, anyone can make it talaga because I am the worst cook in the world. Plus, this is like comfort food that doesn't even break the bank because for 12 pesos, guys, it's like, uh, tastes so good. It's so affordable. It makes me feel all of the comforts of home. And I'm not just saying that. This video is sponsored by Sinigang, but I really do love it. I really, really do love it from the bottom of my heart. So then we can add the gulai. There's eggplant here. There's beans. We have okra. We have sili spada. All the greens that make it even more delicious. And then I'm just gonna let this sit and let this cook. Oh, how good is that? This is the finished product, guys. Look at that. I'm so proud of myself. I had Ate Ivy taste it and she said, Pasar ko no, so I'm proud of the soup. I'm gonna have it with my favorite white rice. Later is not yet here, he's in the office, but I'm having lunch with my baby. We're having Hello. the same thing. He wants Hello. more. <laughs> he likes it. Shabao. Mm. Mm. Moment of truth. Mm. I love that super asim feeling that tastes so good paired with white rice. So good. Cheers! Guys, now I'm gonna be making a smoothie for Mr. Noisy Boy over there who's looking at me. <laughs> He's so excited every time. Every time he sees this, he knows what's going down. Smoothie time. So, we're gonna be adding this is one of my fave things to purchase. I just don't like the single use plastic, but it's cool because it already has a perfect serving size. Yes, love. Bananas, blueberries, and strawberries inside this. So it's frozen, it comes here. I don't have to slice things individually. I just dump them all inside. Now this is also a great way to sneak in veggies. Scott loves eating veggies, but sometimes I feel like he could use more. So I have some cauliflower here. Cauliflower is a great veggie to add into smoothies because they don't really taste like anything. So it's better yung smoothie mo. And it's super duper healthy. You can also add in different things that you want your baby to eat. Na hindi niya malasahan, like broccoli. Let's add three florets. And let's say you want to add some grains because he doesn't like to eat millet or barley or any of these healthy grains. You can add some. He won't taste it. See, so these are already cooked. I'm just adding a little so Scott can have some in his diet. And I will even go as far as adding Black seeds, chia seeds. This is an avocado. Whatever really will work. This is all super duper healthy for Scott. So whatever he doesn't finish, I will make into a popsicle. You can add milk, you can add juice. I like to add water. Right, it's a little bit messy here because I just cooked. So all the sinigang stuff is still here, but look. Pop it onto my Vitamix, press. Smoothie portion. Scotty. Mama's on the way with a smoothie for you. Wow, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> What's the verdict, sir? 
Masarap? Like it? You like it? He likes it! Now since there's a bit of excess, I will store some so he can have juice later for snack time or maybe even for dinner or for tomorrow's breakfast. I'll store it here. And then for the rest, I will make into mini popsicles. I have this little popsicle maker here. You just stick popsicle sticks here at the back. Yon, that lang pala. If your kids are into sweets or desserts, I highly recommend making your own. It's so easy and it's super healthy. Yes. Smile for the camera! Smile! Hello! Smile like a joke. Ninang? You want to look at Ninang? Here, oh! Here's your Ninang, oh! Ninang! What? No, not pop pop Nina. I feel like he's sort of in love with her. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Scott. You say goodbye now. You say goodbye, everyone. Bye bye. See bye bye. Bye bye. Nene. Nina again. Okay. Nene. Nina. Oh 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 oh! Careful. <laughs> bye guys. See you in the next Nene. one.